uh, visibility running at about one to three miles in the greater Topeka area right now. And the temperatures are pretty chilly, but it's 33. And the dew point's at 31. Both of those close together. And when they hit, no matter what the temp and dew point happen to be, that's when you have 100% humidity. And that's why it's more likely to really focus in on the dew point. That's what we want to see because we know when that gets up in the 60s and 70s, it really feels irritable. And when it drops down in the single digits and teens, you become very, very dry. That's a lot better indication on what's going on than 100% humidity uh, based on if the temp is at 20 or if the temp is at 90. Uh, so there's your wind south southwest at roughly 5 to 10. The shaded areas, the dense fog advisory, it does include Kansas City. It includes Wichita, Topeka, out through the central areas of the state, also up toward areas of Nebraska. And there's a look at the numbers that are essentially in the low to mid 30s. So we're trying to nudge it up just a bit. And by starting there, we've got a chance to be at 40 or higher today. Uh, there's a look at how it feels outside Concordia 25, Junction City at 23. Down toward Emporia, you might want to bundle up just a tad more. It feels like 18 there. And we have some clouds. The clearing line never quite made it. So we have fog to get rid of first, some clouds to get rid of second. And that could easily take until 9, 10, 11 o'clock this morning, if not past that. But we should get broken cloud cover and some afternoon sunshine, some melting of snow and then some dense fog tomorrow morning. In fact, the more snow we melt, the more surface moisture we'll have and the worse the fog could be tomorrow. And we may stay kind of locked into a mainly cloudy sky tomorrow. Then there's going to be that passing shot of light freezing drizzle, light freezing rain and sleet that may impact areas into early Thursday. So we'll have to monitor that. And then the sky should clear just a tad before we get into that snowstorm for Friday and Saturday. So with our outlook of 43 today, 37 tomorrow, the chance of that light mix happening Wednesday night into Thursday. And then on Friday and Saturday, it should start as rain. Then it goes to mix and snow pretty quickly. And overnight, Friday and Saturday, as we turn colder, there could be some big snow accumulations. I think easily twice what we had last time with a dry, fluffy snow. And then look how cold. Barely to 20 on Saturday, zero, some spots below that into early Sunday. And barely getting to the mid and upper teens to wrap up the weekend. And again, bitter cold over at Arrowhead for the Chiefs game. We're going to have much more for you as we roll along. We're live until 7, and this is KSNT News.